How's it going everybody? So I just finished up at the gym and hit an amazing uh, PR, personal record, two of them actually today, uh, despite all odds and all the doubts I had in the back of my head. And uh, I came to kind of like an awakening of sorts. Um, I returned to a state of mind that has brought me a lot of success in the past, uh, just in life in general and many other things. Um, and I had lost that mindset for a very, very long time up until today at the gym when this realization or this uh, premonition or uh, whatever paradigm shift kind of hit me. So here's the thing, and, and, and this is something I've been, I've been trying to remember for a long time because I never wrote it down. I didn't have the notes and things I have now. Now I keep notes of all my major breakthroughs and philosophies and goals and all the shit. Anyway. Here's the thing, I want everybody, everybody to really think about this truthfully and honestly. And this is, this is something that the majority of people are missing in the world and only the top, like, you know, the people who are actually making it. Um, and even a lot, of the, a lot of the successful people or the happy people in the world might not even come to this conclusion. But I think in order to be truly happy and fulfilled, you've got to understand this, um, but usually, this is what this is the main difference between failure and success in life whatever you see success as here it is check this out and this means success in your friendship success in your uh, relationship success in your health success in your business and your finances and your happiness and your fulfillment and your passions and everything 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 this will change your world if you really really uh, contemplate this and let it sink in and you remind yourself all the time. Check this out. You affect you. Okay? You affect you. All right? You are responsible for your feelings, for your thoughts, for your success, your failures. When you're offended, Okay, that's your fault. That's your fault. When you're triggered, that's your fault. If somebody else says something and you're angry, you are in control, okay? You are in control. Now, if this offends you to hear this, if this strikes a nerve, and you're not and you're you're too stuck in that that sad pathetic mindset that you're you know you think oh no uh the someone else you know when they they say something that anger me and you know it's their fault because they made me angry shut up you little three-year-old when she make fun of me when she said the f word the way that she talked hurt my feeling when when i'm gonna tell my mommy when it's your it's your fault when shut up man all these supposed like oh i'm i'm mature i'm an adult i'm grown up you know i'm on another level than other people but you can't even take responsibility for your state of mind, for your state of being, you let other people's words hurt you? Well, you don't understand. Well, it's easy for you to say, you know, I bet, I bet, you know, you get offended all the time, blah, 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 shut up. Pointing fingers at other people because you're too weak, you're too stubborn, and you're too hopeless. You feel too hopeless. To point the fingers at yourself because it hurts right no there's no way that I could be imperfect oh so you're saying you're perfect mister give me advice blah 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 bro no <laughs> chill out you know these are all the, the things that go on in people's heads when they hear this type of advice it's all this the defense mechanism they don't want to accept that they're in control of their failures and they're in control of their success. If you start to think, oh shit, I have the power to take myself wherever I want to go. Um, it, the reason why 
I'm not successful in relationships is because of the way I'm thinking, because the way I'm acting, the way I'm approaching. I'm unsuccessful in relationships because I choose the wrong people, because I allow the opposite sex to step on me. I'm allowing this failure to happen. It's not because I'm ugly. It's not because other people are bad. It's not because the world is against me. It's not because I'm whatever skin color. You know, it's not because I'm short. It's not because I'm bald. I'm unsuccessful because I am living in a way that is creating this. Something I'm doing, something I'm saying, a part of me is creating this, okay? It's so obvious. I don't know how people can continue to try to justify otherwise. How can they be in such denial other than the fact that they're so scared to admit that they're not perfect, right? So you have to see that you're creating this. Everything, not just relationships, I'm talking in general. Everything, almost 95% of everything in your life, you have control over, okay? 95%, okay? So here's the thing. So you have two extremes. You have the extreme of people who are in denial and they think everybody else is is the problem and they're a victim. Like, oh no, um, you know, they make me angry. Oh, fucking libertarians or conservatives or, you know, Democrats or Republicans, you know. And they spend all their time ranting about problems that they cannot change. And then they try to tell themselves, oh, well, you know, if I just continue to share these videos of police, police brutality, then everything will change, you know, eventually. Like, they don't realize they're just shooting themselves in the foot. They don't realize they're in their own way. They wonder why they're not happy. Well, this is why. You're externalizing your power. You're giving... You're giving your energy to all these things outside of yourself and not focusing on, okay, how do I feel and how can I, and, and do I, do I like how I feel? How can I feel better? How, like, what about my life, you know? I, I, am I happy with my, with the amount of money I'm making, with the amount of money I'm spending, with the girl I'm with, with the friends I have? Am I, am I, am I waking up every day and, and saying, all right, um, time to go to work, you know, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready to attack the day, you know? Am I saying this? Am I happy with my life? How can I change it if I'm not, right? This is what we need to do, but this is not what people are doing. People are like, oh my God, Barack Obama, oh my God, do you hear what Trump said? You know, oh my God, I've got diabetes, you know, and I'm going to be on medication for something. Shut up. Research, bro. You can find the, 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 the way the, the nutrition and the herbs and the things to reverse your disease, but you don't believe they exist. You think that you're helpless. The problem isn't that you can't reverse your diabetes. The problem is that you don't want to look for the information. You don't want to take responsibility. You don't believe that you can. All it is is a shift. If you can start to say, all right, you know what? There's a lot of uh, doctors that are curing diabetes naturally. I don't need drugs. There's lots of people who are carrying diabetes. I can do it, you know? Oh, uh, thyroid disease is not gonna stop me from losing weight. I know that there are causes to thyroid disease. I'm gonna find my root cause, address it, and then boom, I won't be obese because I'll be, you know, addressing the thyroid problem. Or, you know, because a lot of people say they can't lose weight because of health issues. Well, there, you know, you may, have you thought about how you can reverse your health issues? Um, the thing is, there, well, where there is a will, there's a way. Um, but, you know, there, this is one extreme where people don't believe that they can help themselves, where people don't take responsibility. Then there's the other extreme, and this is also toxic, okay? Where people say, where people take responsibility for their life. Uh, well, well, actually, here, here, it's not really taking responsibility. People, people blame themselves for everything that happened and they don't do anything to fix it. They dwell on 
their problems. Where they're like, oh, you know, uh, no girl likes me because I'm just unlikable. You know, I'm unlikable. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I know it's my fault that I'm not good at relationships, uh, you know, because I'm just a sad dude, because I'm just a downer, because I'm an introvert. You know, it's my fault that people don't like me. No one likes me because, you know, because of me, you know, it's my fault, you know. And it's like, they take response, they're like, yes, it's my fault, but they don't do anything to change it. They're not doing anything to improve their situation, you know. So you have people that are completely oblivious, they're like, duh, like, you know, um, you know, everything is shit, and I don't, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, it's not my fault, you know. Um, the reason why I suck at, 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 at life is because I'm, you know, I grew up in a poor family. I was abused when I was a child. Wham, wham, wham. You know, it's their fault. It's the past. It's the other people. And by the way, I know a lot of people who had very rough childhoods that were beaten, that were locked in closets. And I know some that have actually pulled through it and they're doing amazing. Like better than 95% of the population. Then I also know people who have been abused and they let that, they let that control the rest of their life. Okay? The problem isn't that they were abused as a child. The problem is that they either did something to improve their life when they could or they allowed it to continue controlling them. Okay? But you have people on this side, you know, yeah, not, not my fault that, you know, I'm, I'm poor. You know, you, you got other opportunities, blah, blah, blah. I don't have all the same opportunities, right? Then you have the other side that's all, that's toxic where it's like, it's like, uh, like, you know what, it is my fault, you know. I know I have all the opportunities, you know, I have the same opportunities as everyone else, you know. Why don't I, why don't I, why don't I improve my life? Well, you know, it's because I'm just not motivated. I'm just, I'm just a depressed person, you know. I'm just not, I don't feel like doing it. I have depression, I have all these problems, you know. That's not taking responsibility. That's that's dwelling on your problems and not taking responsibility, not doing something about it. Okay. Response ability, your ability to respond to people, places, and situations. Okay. That's what response ability is. All right. And I think it's funny because growing up, our parents tell us, you know, um, I'm trying to teach you responsibility, son. Um, you know, uh, if you don't, if you don't take out the trash, then I'm going to spank you. Right. But then these are the same people who, you know, allow themselves to get annoyed if, if their child cries in the grocery store, uh, what the fuck? Stop crying. Why are you crying? Like, you know, your child is probably crying because they're hungry or because they're bored or because they need more exercise or because their stomach hurts or, you know, the food you're giving them is causing mood swings, which a lot of people don't realize. Um, and you're not actually sitting there to try to understand your child. You lack empathy. Um, and then they, they're angry at the child because the child is embarrassing them at the grocery store. And instead of realizing, oh, you know, it's a child, you know, children cry at the grocery store. If other people have a problem with that, you know, that's their own mental illness. <laughs> they don't think that way, you know, they're like, oh, like, you know, um, like I can't control my, my, my care for other people's thoughts. You know, I care too much about what other people think about me and my child. So I'm going to yell at my child, take him outside, spank him, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, they, they, they cut people off in traffic, they're angry because, like, they're not, they don't have enough money, and, you know, chances are they don't know what the fuck responsibility means, you know? And once again, these, this is all very hard for anybody to swallow, especially this one. If you are a parent, it's hard for you to swallow this because you don't want to admit that, you know, maybe you're not as mature as you think. You know, it's really unfortunate, really sad, because it requires this, you know, you, in order for you to have fulfillment, happiness, and success in your life, and to live life as closely to perfect as you possibly can, you have to 
take a step back and be brutally honest with yourself. You gotta see through your own bullshit. You gotta see through this whole like, uh, I can't succeed because, you know, I'm unfortunate or I'm, I'm poor or I was abused or I can't succeed because, you know, the school system or my, my boss or, you know, um, poverty or, you know, I'm a minority or whatever it is. People can't succeed, they can't see through this nonsense and they can't just say, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what I need to do to get where I want to be. That's the key, but it's, it's the hardest pill to swallow in life. But if you just get over that hump, if you just do this, it's the key to everything else in your life. You know, um, so, you know, the main takeaway from here is you can do it, okay? You are in control of yourself. You can do it. You will do it. You affect you. Next time someone, uh, you find yourself getting offended or annoyed or angry, you affect you. Repeat that. You affect you. Really try to feel it. Really feel it. You affect you. You are your feelings, you know, or you, you are in control of your feelings. Your feelings are an illusion. They'll come and go based on how you're thinking and how you're experiencing the world. And how you're experiencing the world is not the same as anyone else. Everybody's experiencing the world differently. Okay? Literally. Um, you don't see, no one can see the world how it is. We can only see the world how we are. Very important for, to, to understand this. Even if you're into science like I am. You know, don't let yourself be one of those people. Don't let yourself say, oh yeah, you know, you, you can't see the world how it is, huh? What about science, huh? Objective facts. Well, science is only based on the best evidence, not on absolute truth. Unless we're talking mathematics and um, things of that nature, okay? Sorry, I know it hurts to be wrong. I know, because I've had to go through this many times before. Um, but actually, it doesn't hurt, because it only hurts if you're resisting it. God damn. Oh man, I can't even begin to explain to you how crazy all this is. Because I see this is, this is probably the beginning of everyone suffering. And if you can just address this, you'll be alright. You know, if your girlfriend is like, you know, not taking a shower and, you know, you tell her, hey, go take a shower. And she's like, no, you go take a shower first, blah. And then you take a shower because she said, oh, take a shower first. You know, you're like, okay, whatever, you know. And she pinky promised you should take a shower and you get out of the shower. And you're like, all right, um, your turn. No, you don't tell me what to do, blah, freaks out. You know, slaps you even. And you're like, whoa, you know. You can sit there and argue with her and, well, if you have this problem, you know, your girlfriend's probably not very mature. Um, if she, if there's no budging her and she won't listen, you can't snap her out of it, then you should probably get a new girlfriend. Or you're going to have to just understand, well, hey, you know, this is who I'm with. This is how she's acting right now. And she needs to take a shower because it's her body and it's, you know, you don't want her to get a bacterial infection, but it's your choice to care. So you can t be like, hey, stop watching Netflix. You know, if you don't take a shower now, you're gonna not take a shower tonight and this is gonna be a bad habit and you're gonna get bacterial infections. You need to take care of yourself, whatever. And then, you know, you could do that, but you're, you're putting yourself out there for her to kind of like affect your emotions. You're choosing to allow your emotions to be in that position. But then you can also just say, you know what, it's her body, her responsibility, um, you know, as long as she's not, you know, I don't know, putting her armpit in my face or whatever, then I'm fine. You know, she can do whatever she wants and if it really bothers me, then I'll just, you know, break up with her and, and, and find another place to live and whatever. 
Um, that's taking full responsibility of your life, unconditional responsibility. But it's hard, that's the hardest part to do, and it, you don't have to go that far a lot of times. But you know, it is your life, and you shouldn't have to constantly like be a girl's dad. So anyway, there's that kind of that. That's one example. Um, there's many, many different examples, um, you know, but one of the most common examples is like, um, you know, let's say you are, um, you know, you're, you're at your job or whatever, and no, no, here's a good example. So I have this fucking friend or whatever, and he's always criticizing everyone else. He's always saying, oh, you know, all these people, they drink and they do drugs and, you know, they've got babies, mamas and, and whatnot. Um, but, you know, but I'm over here all successful, blah, blah, blah. Like they're all, you know, they got all these problems and stuff, but you know, but I don't, you know, I'm successful. Look at all these unsuccessful people. I don't have time for them, blah, blah, blah. I don't have time for your childish games, blah, blah, blah. I'm Mr. Successful, right? But the same person, because this is actually projection that he's doing. He's, pro he's in denial of his own problems. He's projecting his own, his own problems. And he's projecting it the way he sees himself onto other people so that he feels better about himself. Like, oh, look at all you druggies, blah, 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 right? And, you know, not even, not even having empathy for these people or understanding where they're at. He's totally projecting his problems onto them. You druggies, you unsuccessful people, blah, 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 look at me and look at you, right? But then in his own life, he lives with his mom he works, he has a, like a low paying job, like works at a, a convenience store, right? Um, constantly talks about, oh, I'm going to get the, I'm going to get a, a, um, a brand new beautiful car um, and I'm going to be famous on YouTube, right? And then it takes him, and he works at a convenience store, he's getting paid $8.50 an hour, right? It takes him two years to finally quit that convenience store job. He's been complaining about it forever. And then he just upgrades to, you know, a grocery store. He's getting paid like 10 bucks an hour now, which is an upgrade, right? Took him two years to make that upgrade. And it's not really a huge deal, but it took him that long. And now he's still complaining, but at least he gets paid more, right? And he's still talking about how everyone else is unsuccessful, but he's successful. Like, bro, you work at a damn grocery store. You live with your mom, and you, and then he, hasn't, he doesn't even have that car yet, right? Still talking for years about getting that car. Then finally he gets a car, but it's like a, it's like a used car. It's like a used Honda or whatever. And it's nothing that, it's nowhere near what he thought he was gonna get. And he's not, he didn't even buy it cash, like he said, he, he's renting it, right? But, you know, he still feels like he's way better than everyone else. And he's always talking about everyone else's relationship problems, but then the girls he gets with are obese, which by the way, I don't have any problem with fat people, but I'm just saying like for somebody who thinks he's Mr. Like Mr. Successful, doesn't really look that way, right? Uh, and also the girl he's with has emotional issues that, you know, he always talk, oh, I'm too, I'm too, I'm, I'm too, I don't have time for childish games, blah, blah, blah. But yet the girl he's with is always playing these childish games. Um, you know, and the girl smokes and, and does all these things, like smokes and posts pictures of her boobs and all this weird shit. And he's always talking down on people who do that. But yet he allows that in his life. And he still lives with his mom. And... He's always talking about, you know, oh, like, you know, YouTube, YouTube. I'm going to have, like, a successful YouTube channel. And he, he started the YouTube channel, and he bought $3,000 worth of camera equipment. And two years have gone by since he bought that $3,000 equipment. He's been talking about, oh, I can't wait to start my YouTube. Can't wait to start with videos. Can't wait to, you know, I'm so successful hasn't had, you know, hasn't posted a video in two years since he got the equipment. Why the fuck did you buy that equipment if you're not using it, you know? You keep talking about YouTube channel. Where the fuck are your videos? You know, talking about Mr. Successful, how everyone else is a failure, but you live with your mom. You're not doing it, you haven't improved your situation in years. 
he got like a like a, a doctor's like a certification for to be a nurse like years like 10 years ago and never did anything with it but he posted pictures of himself in that nurse outfit now for me i find this very very amusing maybe i'm projecting right i could be but i think if i was projecting i don't think i would be able to consider that i am because it is a form of delusion and denial i'd hate to be projecting but maybe i am right but you know he was my best friend for a long time but it's like all this shit he's in this big cloud of denial and projection and it's like just see through your own bullshit Start making YouTube videos, okay? Start going through with the things you say. You you know, you say you don't like, you know, fat girls, you say you say you don't like girls who smoke and blah blah blah, but you so so get a girl who aligns with that, not a girl that you know, everything in his life is completely the opposite of what he says. It's like he's got this idea of who he is and his life is the complete opposite of that. So, you know, the, the excuses are always going through, excuses and, and delusion. Every time I try to wake him up, it's excuses and defense mechanism and projection and, oh, you're a hypocrite. Help yourself, man. Help yourself. It's important. And see, so I give this, this, these examples because it's very, it, they're great ways of learning, you know? learning from this how can this guy go from where he is to where he wants to be the youtube videos start making youtube videos start making youtube videos right the car well he spent three thousand dollars on a camera equipment that he doesn't really need he's got like 50 subscribers i've got three thousand and i don't even I, i'm using a webcam from like 2004 which maybe i should upgrade right but yeah he spends three thousand dollars on the camera and hasn't even done anything with it Spend that money on the car you've been talking about getting for so long. Go through with what you're saying. Even though I don't feel like the car ever was uh, uh, meant anything, I don't feel like it was a, 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 a meaningful goal. But to him, he kept talking about it, and his screensaver. He used he had the car on his screensaver. It was a Dodge. He didn't even know what the car was. It was a Dodge Challenger, but he said Dodge Charger. Doesn't even know the difference. Had it as a screensaver. Never got it. Then he has an excuse for why I never got it. Save up that money and actually go through with it. All right? Use that nurse certification, right? Or at least think before you spend a bunch of money on a, on a certification that's not even gonna benefit you. Didn't even do the research on, oh, can I, you know, am I gonna be able to use this or not, right? Just, fuck it, blah, I can pretend to be in, I can fake it till I make it. Never actually made it, you know? Um, dump the girl that you're not satisfied with. Stop pretending like you like her and find a girl you actually do like. Um, you know, he's been talking about getting a six pack forever, but then like when I go to his work, he uh, orders pizza and then has an excuse saying it's for someone else when they clearly said pizza for blah, blah, blah. Stop doing that bullshit. And then stop giving yourself excuses. Stop lying when your friends call you out. You know? He can see through his own bullshit. He can go from where he is to where he wants to be. The problem is that he's just not doing it. He's allowing himself to fail. So, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, the thing is, like, if you're a, if you're a, um, in a third world country, and you know you're truly suffering this video is not for you if you have all your limbs cut off right and you want to be like a world-class sprinter this video is not for you right um i mean if you have like brain damage and can't understand language i mean then you wouldn't even be watching this video right I mean, really, chances are, if 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 you if if um if you truly are hopeless, then you wouldn't even be able to watch this video. You'd be in a third world country with no internet. So, you know, the majority of like I'm pretty sure most people watching this, if they don't if they disagree with this, it's 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 mainly delusion. It's mainly denial. You know.
I don't know for sure, I can't say I do, but I want for people to think like, oh, um, you know, this is true. Because the only way you're going to know for sure if you are um, true, if you're truly making excuses, you know, is if you take this on as truth and really try to go through with it. So how can you put this into practice in everyday life? Um, you know, the truth is, you know, you should actually start to read about, read positive psychology. You probably should start to read about uh, the law of attraction. And not necessarily because, you know, it's, it's true science or anything, but because it's, if you actually believe into, in, in, the, in these types of things, if you actually buy into it, it'll actually change your life. Just because it, it shatters these, belief, these limiting beliefs, it shatters the excuses. Because the, the law of attraction makes you take responsibility for your life. Like, oh, my relationship sucks because, you know, I'm not in vibrational alignment, you know. I mean, that's... Sure, that, that might be woo-woo, but it's not about, oh, how scientifically correct am I? It's about, is this going to change my life, right? How is this going to impact me? I don't see, I don't understand why you have all these people, oh, well, you know, I'm just realistic, right? Um, there's some things that really suck in the world and there's some things that don't. And, and my thing is, like, if you're responding to these problems uh, emotionally, you know, that's, you have complete control over that. Most people just tell themselves that, you know, oh, like, you know, I'm, I'm a realist, you know, and, and all this shit, when the reality is, like, you just want to continue being the same sad, pathetic, pathetic piece of shit that you've always been. When you start to partake in this, this, this mindset, like, oh, I can do it, you know, I'm, I'm the one who's, who's causing this, you are more able to give value to the world. When you talk down on celebrities, when you talk, uh, when you when you talk about how horrible the world is, when you you know share all this these these negative vibe, you know these negative things, you know you you tell yourself that you're you're helping and you're spreading awareness, but in reality, you're actually spreading fear. You're actually sharing with other people who are going to share that again and again and again. More people are going to feel the the fear and hatred. You're gonna have more people rioting on the streets. You're gonna have more, um, you know, more, you know, people with another skin color, you know, um, assuming everyone is racist against them. You know, the reality is, it's the way you're perceiving things. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, and I could go into that and explain why I feel this way because I I love everyone. But I have a lot of people who, you know, of the opposite skin color, who who give me dirty looks and and uh, even say and even make little comments about, you know, assuming I'm racist or something when I'm not, just because I'm white and the media portrays white people as being racist or portrays other races of being, you know, oppressed. But anyway, all I'm saying is, you know, you see the world the way you are, and. You have full control over the, over your your life and over your actions, and um, you really have to take responsibility. You have to start to see I can do this, right? So I mean, I'll make more videos on this later because it's already thirty minutes and I have things to do. But I hope this helped. If you like this video, you know, let me know what you think. Please tell me down below if you've actually watched this entire video. Let me know because I feel like this is a huge important message, and I hope it helps people. Um, leave your questions and comments down below. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.